uh, Julie Chan, I'm sorry. And uh, by the way, thank you all who are submitting tickets. And this is the first ticket I'm, I'm doing from Julie Chan. Uh, Chan, I'm sorry, I don't know. Uh, but forgive me if I mispronounced your name. I do appreciate you uh, submitting tickets. Anybody? And it says, hello, Mr. Cho Mr. Kobuman. Uh, I have a question, please. What is the cause and solution for this issue? When you ping a website with no reply, uh, example, and you get no reply. So uh, she is asking what the problem is when she pings this IP address with, and there's no reply. So I'll talk about this in a couple of different uh, re there's, there are a couple of different reasons I should say and the first reason here is that looking at your IP address here this is not a full IP address it's missing a whole subnet it's usually four sets of digits right so we got 170.10.00 then you gotta have a, another dot and then for example 10 or 100 or it doesn't matter any you need more information to this and I understand maybe this is just a uh, typo as in you didn't you didn't intentionally type this right so that's one reason this is not a full IP address because it's missing stuff now the reason you would ping an IP address is only to see if a server is working not necessarily if a website is working or anything else because for that you'd be using the website name or a computer name or a server name and that's what DNS is used for you know so that you don't have to do the IP so you don't have to figure out what the IP address is first so you don't have to use IP address to reach a server so if you're for example going to here's my website here we're gonna ping this you know just type in ping in command line and you type in for example my website name my website is cosmicnovo.com or kobuman.com um, and then I hit enter and I'm gonna get a reply and it's gonna work fine right and this is normal but you get a IP address after you do that so I can take this and ping ping that as well but there's really no point unless I'm trying to see if there's something wrong with the server you know and you get the same results more or less you see that uh, because you know it's the same thing you don't have to remember and ping uh, IP addresses now there are a couple of reasons uh, you know aside well aside from trying to see if the server is down because you know if the DNS is not working if pinging you know if, if pinging cosmicnovo.com like this doesn't work you can ping the IP address that we pinged right that right and that's fine we just did that and we got a positive result but what if you ping it and let me try, try this this is the wrong one and if I mistype the IP address and it's gonna say timed out you know or or similar to what Julie was saying it says no no reply right that means that this server doesn't exist right that server is completely down you know it's not on the network it's just something wrong with it so you would have to have direct access to it whether it's physical or some other way to get to it you know maybe it's blocked by firewall we don't know now the only people that would normally ping aside from troubleshooting this that are trying to ping IP addresses are people who are trying to hack into the websites since we've mentioned a website in this case people who are trying to ping websites to see if there's something there or trying to access it you mean you're pinging technically if you're trying to just go to that IP address if you are just trying to go to it you're technically pinging it as well because you're sending a data to it and then you're waiting for a response um, if a website is giving you this it could mean that you at your location are blocked from being able to reach it from your location why would that be the case well, if you're a hacker, and I'm not saying Julie is, this is a good question that, that she uh, uh, put in a ticket. It's a great question uh, because people don't really go into it this much and talk about it. Uh, is that you set up a web server to give the no reply or unknown signal back to people who are trying to 
attack the website or hack it and tried multiple times or uh, the uh, denial of service attacks or just somebody trying to log in multiple times just they use bots it's usually not done by a person manually meaning that they just type in over and over what the password is um, they would um, they would be uh, doing this with bots you know that would automatically just do it every few seconds or so uh, web servers can manually you can manually block that IP and the person who is doing it or the bot will get a reply of timeout or no reply or he would just say unknown and servers web servers do that purposely to deter the bot from constantly pinging and not only that when you when you set it up like that there's no load on the server server just denies connection just denies connection instead of trying to process the data when you allow it to process the data for example instead of saying it's not there no reply at all that would basically give you that you know 404 error which is web page missing you don't want to do that because that puts a load on your server because it's forcing your server to process more data and forces you to reply with a web page right so you set your server to deny connection completely which gives you no reply or in this case it just times out it just says times out so as far as you know that server is not there but it could be there but it may be blocking you specifically the hacker from reaching it and the bots are set up to basically give up at some point they would try like hundreds of times and then they would realize well there's nothing there and it would be okay on server because server is just simply denying connection there's no processing done I hope that's easy to understand and I know it's a little bit more advanced and it's not necessarily um, a help desk type of thing but maybe if you're tier 3 you'll be thinking about this type of stuff maybe tier 2 